Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Hold on. Yeah. Whenever I see that F9 overlay appear, because of my... And, and never mind, it's technical stuff. Anyway, yes. I have been pondering what we're going to be doing next, because we are at a little bit of a kind of... I mean, our, our tech progression is going to the redstone and the light engineering blocks, and yes, we are going to have to make some of those. But I like to think bigger picture than that. I like to think, what are we going to be making these things for? And you see, the lead up here is, these are essentially a bunch of intermediary parts, all for making these machines. The diesel generator, the crusher, the excavator, the metal press, distillation tower, and pump jack. All of which are going to be very necessary machines as well as the carpenter and the thermionic fabricator. Those are also going to be necessary machines, all for eventually making this petroleum-infused ingot. So, I've had to consider which one is going to be the most useful, and I've got two options lined up for me. The first is kind of the traditional in immersive engineering first machine, and that's the metal press. That is a machine that'll make it very much easier for us to craft bunches of gears, wires, and all the intermediary little parts that immersive engineering uses hundreds of. The other one that I've been considering is the carpenter. Because the carpenter would allow us to make chests more easily so we could finally upgrade our storage system, and that would allow much faster crafting of all the other stuff, as well as the fact that these woven backpacks or white backpacks from Project Red. These are made in the Carpenter and these are a much better version of the Fancy Pants. So on balance, I think the Carpenter might be more advantageous, but it's also going to be harder to craft. It's going to require four of these heavy engineering blocks, which is just one craft's worth, but that's going to require all these pistons. Each of these pistons are essentially a bunch more light engineering and redstone engineering blocks, so it's a bit of a craft to get up to there. Yeah. That's going to require lots. Whereas the metal, the metal press is going to be easier to craft, but I don't think it will avail us as much. And between the two... Yeah, I'm thinking it might, might go with Carpenter. So... Let's put that on our goals as our as our as our goal. But to do that, we're going to need four eight pistons, which means we're also going to need one of these heavy engineering block crafts, essentially. And we're going to also need more pistons besides, and we're going to need some redstone engineering blocks. We're also going to need some light engineering blocks. We're basically going to need all the stuff that we need to craft for the next little bit of questing. Just incidentally, as you please. Also, I tried out some things in my creative world, and it turns out that creating steel in a blast furnace takes four charcoal per. So the smeltery recipe isn't really making, isn't really giving me any advantage other than the fact that it is slightly faster. Well, more than slightly. It's loads faster but uh yeah i don't feel as guilty about it anymore because it is just simply it is just simply a slight mild improve you know what i'm gonna make an igniter for the for the luxury pit burner i might as well because we're gonna be using it a lot yeah and an igniter for that is pretty easy it's the same as all the other igniters just with six refractory bricks so no reason not to, really. There we go. And I'm just going to need six iron and three shards in order to craft the iron bar. There we go. Why so many? Did I have those just sitting in there from some previous craft or something? I must have. I must have needed a lot of them for something, and I'm not remembering it at the moment. And that's it. Game, stop lagging, please. And I'm, I'm going to need to journey out and find some more levers pretty soon, but that's easy. Where do I want this? Right there. 
So, first of all, pile everything up. And then a dupe. A boop. Nope, that's a bad idea. That's a bad place. We'll move that as soon as that burn's done. I guess here would be the next best place. But yes, make the luxury pit burner a little bit more luxurious because we are going to need lots and lots and lots of charcoal. Yes, to make those heavy engineering blocks, that's going to require lots of... Well, not so much. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, we, we don't need the lots and lots of steel just yet, still. It is something that we should be considering for the future. Let's work on getting just a stack of steel smelted and probably all immediately turned into components. So, to do that, I'm going to need four stacks of charcoal. Yeah. There's a reason I've been running the pit burner, and honestly, it's probably not going to be enough. We might need to expand the refractory pit burner just so that it can store up enough. It can make us enough charcoal to keep up with what we're going to need it to do. Because, yeah, we're going to need to, we're going to need it to do a lot a lot, a lot. Hmm. The other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need myself an engineer's manual. Yeah. As much as I usually read the freaking manual in, in my creative world, the engineer's manual has a lot of features that you just needs it for. So, to make that, I'm going to need the scribe's workshop. And honestly, eh, it's not too terrible. I just need these light and redstone engineering blocks, which are two things that you're just going to need hundreds of in general. So let's work on, I, I think, well, after I smelt this batch of steel, my next quest is going to be redstone engineering block anyway. So let's get that smelted. Hmm. How fast... Is it going to alloy faster than it can than it can pour? Let's see. 6 7 8 5 6 7 Oh no. It is much slower. So, let's let that seal mix a little bit before we start smelting it. We wouldn't want to we wouldn't want to interrupt its progress. And I guess while that's going, I'm probably going to need a lot more copper. So let's switch it to daytime and let's go... Let's go excavate a new one of those ships. And let's just... Uh, red? Ah, hello. Well, there's an old project that I forgot to light up. Thanks for pointing it out to me, Zombro. And now you will never have access to that again. Hmm. How did that happen? Must have got disrupted in some construction project or another. Well, let's keep F7 mode on regardless. We, if there's any darkness around, we kind of want to know. So, how about that one? Just straight west. Right, I need to empty out the fancy pants, too. I forgot to do that for a little while. My apologies. Am I wearing the fancy pants? Yes, I am. Oof. Okay, I, I know, I don't understand that. So, doop, doop. And the things I don't understand. Over in there. Those should be the only ones. Ah, good, now we're down to a manageable amount of weight. That's always a wonderful feeling. Hmm. Disinfected? I guess it must have been. 
Neat. Okay, now we can go and get that ship going. And then we have a lovely weather for it. That seal is probably all mixed by now. Yeah, get that going while we're out. Yes, yeah, so we are going to need tons of copper. We are going to need tons of steel. And we have to start considering how we are going to get our hands on those resources. Because these ships are not exactly going to get us... Well, they'll, they'll get us a long ways. But having to hunt out farther and farther for lesser and lesser resources from these ships... It would be... It, it, it would be tough. So... We need to consider what can get us resources. I told you that the Crusher can get us copper and iron nuggets out of these ships. But on considering that, that seems like that would be really grindy and slow, to be honest with you. Yes, I'm just working on safing this ship a little bit. Just kind of poking holes in it wherever I can see red in my F7 overlay. So, the Crusher may not be the best plan. The other thing to consider is that uh, the excavator is probably the ultimate path to ending scarcity, ending scarcity of resources. And that's what we have to go for, but the excavator is a huge investment. It's going to take a lot of resources to build. So... I want those. So it'll be a little while before we can get our hands on it, and we have to consider the most optimal path for getting there. My bow's better than yours, Skelebro. So... One thing to consider is that um, the pump jack... Okay, the, w the way that the pump jack works is every chunk in the world has a different potential resource generated inside of it. And it can have a, a mineral vein, which is what the excavator will mine, and it can have a liquid vein, which is what the pump jack will excavate. The pump jack is not all that expensive and not all that hard to run. So it's by far the cheaper one, because it's kind of part of the bootstrapping process, is getting a diesel industry running, getting oil refining running, and um, working your way up into a diesel generator, which is what you need to run the excavator. Goodness gracious. Where are you all coming from? I could have sworn I despawned you. So, if you can get resources through the pump jack, and this world will spawn liquid metal resources that the pump jack can excavate. The problem being, after some testing, I've confirmed that um, all of my worlds that I'm generating are using the same seed, and that seems to be... Uh, generating all the same resources each time, right? Well, I have scoured the island back and forth in creative, and I have not found a vein of liquid copper, which is what I would need to easily get copper with a pump jack. And, I mean, I will... When I get the uh, core sampler, which is what you need for... Um, which is what you need for finding out what the excavator and pump jack can dig up. When I get up to making a core miner, I'll scout around, I'll poke a few holes, and I'll just confirm that yes, uh, that yes, the multiple creative worlds I've tested, that the behavior is consistent, and that that they're generating the same chunks as my survival world, and I hope I'm wrong almost. I hope that I have hours of scouring to do 
across the land in my survivor world, almost. Because that would mean that I have another chance at finding an easy-peasy uh, vein of liquid copper. Because I think that would be the king's strategy right there. Copper is going to be... We're, we're going to be in a copper crunch for a little while. And if I could find an easy source of it. But no. There is a good vein of mineral copper, relatively close to our base, and it even has a liquid vein of lava on the same chunk. So I could excavate that up, I could build a pump jack for the lava and a smeltery right there. And I could just have my copper automated, but that is going to be quite a little ways down the line. It's not impossible for me to grind up to it, just with my current tech level, but... To make an excavator, you need a diesel generator. A diesel generator is very expensive. It's all just... Oh, shoot, I'm not wearing the tank. That's why I'm getting so cold. Huh. But yes. If there's a shorter grind available, I'd love to see it. It's anywhere in my world. Okay. Oh. No, you don't. Anyone else? Anyone else want some of this? Yes, the other thing is that uh, these lovely little loot boxes that I've been, by and large, ignoring are now very enticing. Can I use these? I can. Excellent. Because these gears that they offer very commonly are now incredibly useful to us. So, that's another thing that I'm going to be raiding. Some of those sailboats, the big, like, sailing boats that are made out of Futura blocks, they have tons of these crates. So they are going to be very worthwhile raids for building things like uh, the light engineering block, or the, uh, does the redstone use them? No, but I think the heavy engineering does, yeah. So those are now definite targets for uh, for uh, looting as well. Okay, not... Okay, there you are. You just get out of my way, Mr. Zombo. And no one will get hurt. Except for you. Very severely. To death. I needed more torches for this job, but we've done a good enough job for now. So let's just dispose of some of the more useless things. These raw diamonds, that's just a harder way to get diamonds. I've, I'm fine on that right now. Eh, yeah, I'll keep those. I honestly, the coins are just so much processing. I'm just going to dump them. And for the rest, if the game will stop lagging, the gears are very heavy, so put those in the fancy pants. And let's mine some copper. Yep. Simple as that. 20 blocks of copper with some more to come. I wish I could say this will last us for a while, but it honestly really won't. Now, can I just break this up directly on the anvil? I don't think I can. One of these blocks I might be able to, but probably the thing to do is going to be just to melt it down and cast it. So let's, you know, get a couple blocks of gold just while we're here, because we're a bit low on it, I think. And, yeah, you can never have enough blocks of iron. That's just general philosophy right there. Come on, game. Let me go. And, yes, now up on this... Ah, oh, shoot, it's getting dark. Oh, wait, I have my amulet. It's not getting dark. Never mind. Yes. Getting dark is bad when we're in yellow triangle territory. 
I'm so used to uh, not having to consider the time anymore now. The Great Enlightenment Project was a slog, but I'm glad I did it. And just like that, we got some lovely new loot to sort away into our pants. As well as our purse. And get some more iron just while we're here. Because yes, we really are going to be going through tons of this stuff. Literal tons. There we go. Just so it goes into an appropriate slot in our inventory, you know. Okay. Come on. Let me know. There we go. Yep. And this is kind of one of the reasons why I'm debating on the carpenter being the best. Simply because we would have so many more slots. Those backpacks would give us nine slots. And we wouldn't have to be doing all this finagling, juggling back and forth with hot bars and messing with slots. It's just something you keep on your hot bar, you open it. And it would be much easier to have multiple of them. In general, it would just be it would make the weight system even more of a joke than it already is. I want them badly. All right. Yeah. I suppose that this is, if nothing else, a chance to measure exactly how much metal you get from one of these ships. I mean, obviously not including the uh, potential for crushing the factory blocks. Let's see here. Anything in here? Yeah, some more loot boxes, more piles of gold, more dark spots that I didn't quite eliminate. But all in all, this ship, we, we've got what we need from it for now. Let's head home. Yeah, and I really wish I could say that'll last us for a while, but it won't. It really won't. We're reaching the point where we need the industrial production. We are going to be struggling for it for a little while. We're going to need that second layer of the Abyss with its supplies of redstone and iron. This is, this is the uh, resource crunch. It is happening. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, let's keep the emerald. But everything beneath that, let's just dump. Dump that. What is that? Is that silicon ore? I'll keep it just in case. Need to make some sort of stairs or ladder on that. Okay. Let's just get all the iron out. Hmm. Oh, right. I was... I upgraded the smeltery not too long ago. Well, let's just... Sorry, but you are the weakest link. Goodbye. And there we are. So in total, you get nearly two stacks of iron blocks out of one of those ships. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. And I guess this is gears now. Yep. I probably have a... Yeah, I have a few in storage. And oof, they are weighty fellows. This is another potential source of copper. If we get really good on our loot chest and we have more copper gears than we can make use of, then we can melt them down and they're worth four copper apiece. So that's another resource to... I think this will just be a part of my bag now, just for fast healing. Um... Okay. And there and there. Um, let's get rid of this on our tool chest. These I definitely want to store in a safe place. I guess this is kind of the industrialization chest. Oh no, I have redstone torches up on there, so levers can also be up on there. It, it doesn't matter. And let's just sell our emerald coins. Ah, yes. I should check the shop to see if there's anything good in it now, since we unlocked some new ages. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we won't have all the doctoring stuff until Chapter 7, Chapter 8. Huh, Chapter 6. Okay. Yeah, nothing in there until Chapter 6. We're, we're on Chapter 5. Is it a later part of Chapter 5? Hmm. Bizarre. Maybe we'll unlock that later. In any case, now we need to melt down some copper. Let's just melt down all of it. We also need to make some ingot casts. So let's break up some gold. And get eight of it. Get four of these. Because, yes, I will also want ingot cast for the copper. Just get those nice and smalted. Let's start working on that. And you know what? Let's just do all of it. Fancy pants, save me from this tyranny. There we go. And I'm going to need some sort of temporary storage for for back there. Don't want to run back and forth between the parts chests. I'm not sure if the parts if the uh I I'm not sure if that chest could store multiple instances of it anyway. So, shelf. A shelf will do. We'll just put that there. It's fine. And in fact, let's... Right on there. Yeah. It's more than fine since they stack. Oh, shoot. I didn't. I misclicked there. Well, can we recast that? Well, we'll just have to use that for something. We'll make like a... We could make the eye chisel modifier. <laughs> eh, projectile resistance. Resistance resistance, which might be what I want. Blast resistance or reinforcement. Um, let's put a reinforcement on little Annie. There we go. 
easy as that. This is just effectively increasing the durability of the pick. And now I need to put two more gold in there because I derped. Is that going to alloy with the molten copper? Nickel, nickel, silver, aluminum. No, it won't alloy. That's always unfortunate when, when it starts just like eating up your metal into something you didn't intend. Sometimes you discover nice things through it, but not often. Okay, there we go. And doop, 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 and doop. In the meantime, let's see, we're going to need a half stack of copper in order to make these all into components. Which I guess we'll keep our... Yeah, this is kind of turning into the mechanism intermediary parts chest, whatever this chest was before. It is not that now. You know what? Let's also put all of our ore in there. There we go. Get off of me. And have we got a half stack yet? Yes, we do. So we... So, just like that, we drag it over to our table, and we make some steel mechanical components. We make the rest of those, too. So, with that quest completed, we need to start... Well, you know what? First, let's make the Scribes workstation. Scribe. Why have I got an engineering workshop on there? I want a scribes. So that's going to need four of these redstone engineering and four of these light engineering. Well, the redstone engineering is the simplest one. That is just going to require a bunch of redstone, mechanical components, and iron. How much of each? Let's see here. Uh, eight, twelve. Four, eight. So 12 redstone, 8 metal, 8 iron, I should say. Let's make two batches of it. Because I have about that much redstone pre-crushed for me. And what else? 8 mechanical components. And we make that on the engineers. Oh, and two copper. There we go. Ah, that's exactly what we needed to make anyway. So, that's all nice and settled. And now, light engineering blocks, as a matter of fact which the Scribes Workshop is also going to need. So for that, we're going to need a bunch of gears, a bunch of iron mechanical components. I'm going to need more of those. How are we doing? Do we have any more iron plates? Yes, we do. Sweet. You still going, Copper? Yeah. Looks like you're just finishing up. Might be time to get more iron on the pour. No? Why did only one go? Have you gone desynced from each other? What's going on? What's going on there? Okay. Off. Let y'all settle. Pick y'all up. Put y'all down. 
poor. Hope that that remains okay. Huh. Is it because this hopper got full? Shouldn't. It must be, though. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, we could replace that for a proper hopper hopper. Later. We'll do that later. Three at a time is fine for now. Uh, what was I thinking? Right, right, right. Light engineering blocks. Unfortunately, these are also crafted two at a time. And that also requires copper. And that is, in fact, going to require some of our redstone engineering blocks, too. So, three, five, eight mechanical components, which really means I need 16 of them. Two of our precious redstone engineering blocks. And 16 gears. Uh, four copper and 12 iron. Yeah. It's getting expensive. Those ships really ain't going to last all that long. And that should do it, I think. Okay, light engineering block get. I'm going to need one more set of the redstones, too. So that's going to be just 12 more redstone. I need to crush up some of these redstone blocks, which I believe is done with a hammer. Yeah. Is there any other... Is there a way to automate this anywhere? Well, let's look at redstone dust. That would be the more... So, crusher? No. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Okay. We'll just have to keep that in mind. So, right, I need 12 of it, and four mechanical components, eight iron, and a copper. I have just enough, oof. Okay. So that is my redstone and light engineering uh, components gathered. Next, I'm just going to need a standard old workshop. We know how to craft that through long experience. And 36 of those. And 28 of those. Stone oven git. I let's just craft these. A dupe and a dupe. Yeah, and a sight. Okay. And twenty of those lovely bricks along with 16 of these and four of those will get us one of those now three of those five of those and the hard part's done all of the hard part Really, the hard part was done when I got done with the engineering blocks. 
And now for the bonus round. Maybe I should move the logs to like this one. They're probably the most frequently used. Hmm. We'll think about it. Thank you, O oh Venerable Crafting Axe. And from there, I need five of those, four of those, six more of those to make 11, and one of those. There we are. And from there, it's just a simple matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so thankfully none of these are too terribly full just yet. And in fact, I'm probably going to need to run some more wood pretty soon. So let's see, seven of those. And also just six more. And one of those. Gets me that, gets me that, and we're good. So, next for the scribes, let's see, we're going to need four books. I should have some on hand. Yeah, that's just from, uh, I accidentally dug up a bookcase when I was writing Jail Masters, I think. So, six more wood. Let's run some more logs before I forget. Where are all my jungle pods? Hmm. Well, we'll get some more. Yeah, just pick up a nice couple. And that'll get us by for the moment. There we are. Hmm. Hate it when the wood falls away from our gathering area. I suppose this could be a bit more intelligently designed. But that's true of pretty much everything I make. Hmm. You know, for all the for all the charcoal we're gonna need. Maybe it's time to start considering something better than this for a tree farm. Those giant sequoias are tempting me. The ones that are way over there in the forest. I'm thinking that if I make myself a Tinker's Lumber Axe, I might be able to farm those pretty decently. Because one of those should generate about as much wood as this entire wood farm. And I should be able to grow several of them simultaneously. And they should grow a lot faster than this wood farm grows. Yeah, those giant sequoias. The problem is that means getting close to the woods. And the woods are a no-go zone at the moment. <sighs> I suppose... I've been considering how I'm going to raid that land, because, yeah, I do ultimately not want for there to be any any uh, forbidden areas of this island for me. So I'm going to have to clear those somehow. And I think the, uh, the powered lanterns might be the way I go with that. They're relatively inexpensive. It's just some iron plates, some glass panes, a bit of redstone. Those vacuum tubes aren't too terribly hard to make. Nickel we can just get from the ships. Uh, the big thing it's going to be waiting on is I'm going to want a metal press to make all the copper wire for it. But yeah, the lovely thing about these powered lanterns is they turn off mob spawning within a 32 block area around them. So a couple of those, like a half dozen or so, should be able to cover that entire forest if I space them out smartly. 
which is always a question with me, I know. Can I operate smartly? Wait, this is the wrong machine. Case in point. Let's see, and the rest will just turn into log pile. There we go. But yes, if I can safe that forest, if I can if I can successfully raid it, then I can go and get those sequoia saplings, as well as just cut the forest down in general. That's a lot of wood. And that will make a lovely supply of charcoal for us. Speaking of, it's well past time that we uh, cycled this. So, let's make a more uh, a more thoroughly considered spot. Uh, how about that one up there? Thoroughly considered, he says, I know. Clears it out. Loads it up. And yes, at this point, I'm pretty much resigned that oh, we'll just have lots of wood tar. It doesn't matter. It doesn't stop the burn from happening. If I need to load up more coal tar for something, then I will just... Uh, yep, that's working. Then I will just load it... I, I, I will just break those things, because wood tar is less than valuable right now. And honestly, I'm not sure if the tar bale burn gives us any more charcoal than just burning log piles. Loads and loads and loads of log piles. Hmm. So, all right, we have a reward. Ah, neat. Thank you for that. That would have been more useful in the previous age. But yes, yes, Scribes Workshop. Don't lose track of what I'm doing. So I've got that, got that, got those. I just need three cobble... I just need six cobblestone, forgive me. Da, 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 da. And that's made on the NGs. Do I have... No, I forgot to bring out these chunkers. And there we have it. A scribe's workshop, pretty as you please. Let's just put on that. Yeah, let's put it right there. And let's, of course, give it a nice little tap to feed on into the system. I'm probably going to have to go and dig up some more coal or something. And to make an engineer's manual... Let's put the carpenter on there. Just as a reminder of what our long-term goal is. But yes, now that you've seen the crafting process that goes into these... You know that uh, it's going to be... Well, I guess... Since the heavy engineering block doesn't use any of the previous tiers except through the pistons... It's not as expensive as it looks. The real expense is all the light engineering blocks, which requires all the redstone engineering blocks. Yeah. In any case, in any case. The engineer's manual. That's going to require a quill. RD quill. And that's going to require another needle. So, that's relatively simple. I might need to go visit the chicken farm again. But that's not exactly a huge difficulty. Yeah. Let's cut down the wood chips before we go. I suppose, well, no, the wood chips, the wood chip burn just gives us charcoal pieces. It's probably not worth it. Hmm. How you doing? Good. It's a pity I haven't used slime more. The kind of the era of needing loads of slime has passed for a little while. Or glue, I should say. 
but when we need glue, it is available. Heck, when we need slime, it is available. Arrow. Careful not to punch the chickens. Yeah, they try as they might. It's not worth it. So, where is the villager? They're saying off to sleep. They're confused about what time it is, I think. If I go in here... There you are. And you know what? Sell me tons of chicken, too. Heck, sell me tons of eggs so I can start my own chicken farm with blackjack and hookers. Yeah, see, even just getting within the general vicinity of... Wait a minute, that looked like that was the cow farm. No, that's the barn. That's the big barn. Did I forget to light the interior of the big barn? Well, it's past the line of torches, anyway. But yeah, you see, I have lots of tricky areas where it's going to be a bit of a mess trying to get within all those areas. Hmm. So we might as well just, uh, we might as well kind of cheese it by getting a more powerful lantern. And I can just kind of dot those down like... I, I won't be counting blocks, probably. I won't have time for that. I'll be dodging mobs and stuff like that. But I, I think I, I think it should be a doable project, making the island completely safe at last. In any case, get that chicken sorted away. Hmm. Are the drying racks compatible with hoppers? No, that's a crazy thought. Not until not until Carpenter makes hoppers cheaper. Right, right, right. Okay, so I need three, six feathers. Oh, I should put them away first. Six feathers, two two rods, a bunch of twine, and two diamonds. I need to make more twine. I might need to make a lot more twine, like go and harvest the hemp field for the first time in a while. And two diamonds. Do I have enough for the quill? Yep, sure do. But I probably don't have enough for the needle, because that also requires lots. So let's go harvest some hemp. We're going to need much more hemp for this. Nicely clip the fields down. All right, torches. There we go. I think that's everything. Not quite. And sure, the garlic is looking nice and healthy. Very slow growing stuff. But that's why you have a sizable field of it. And you make sure to always replant right away. Get that immunity up for all the good it's going to do us. At the very least, it should ensure that if, when we inevitably catch a disease, that it'll be a brief one. And from there, we just a dupe, a dupe, and a dupe. And how many are them going to need? I'm just going to need the one. 
with a bowstring and three diamonds. Where is it? Oh, it's already in the table. <laughs> that explains why I can't find it. It's right in front of my face. Just make as many as I can. Why not? Keep them all in here because this is the only place we ever use them. And when that starts to run out, we'll just make some more. So dip, 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 and a zoop. How did that happen? Okay, there we go. And there's the arty tools made for our lovely new scribing shop. Lay those out. And I believe I'm just going to need one more lever and a book. And that should... Right, they're up there. How's this process doing? This process is done. Okay, I'm going to need more iron components. Like, more, more iron components. Like, a lot, a lot more. Like... Yeah, let's just smelt a whole stack of iron blocks more. And set it back to plate mode. top of that, 9, 18, if I can just get four more blocks of charcoal, that would make a decent portion of it into, so can I just, here, no, it would have to be in here, wouldn't it? Yeah. There we go. And these just melt down into, they don't, they don't melt down, do they? Hmm. Well, never mind. We just need to break them up. You know what? Yeah, it's drudge work, but it's necessary. We are going to need so many components. We are going to need so much steel. So the sooner we get it on the pour, the better. Even if it means slowly, drudgingly breaking up all these blocks. I can't believe they don't melt. And, yeah, we're finally starting to damage that iron anvil, but it's definitely looking like I want to make those as my mainstay. Oh, boy. Wait, we actually don't have enough room in here. Okay. So this is going to have to be pouring for a little while before I can put those in. There you go. That's better. And yeah, I don't know if this... Let's see, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it has enough slots for it. Plus the one that's already filled. In any case, yes, yes, yes. Need to remember, I was making a book. I have a book. Huzzah! Literacy. And that engineering manual 
Uh, the big thing that it's going to help us out with is the fact that it has instructions for all the multi blocks. So the metal press, yeah, it's something you need to physically build out of steel scaffolding, conveyor belts, redstone blocks, a proper piston, and a heavy engineering block. It'll tell you all the materials that you need. It'll show you how to lay it out. You can play it slow. You can build it up layer by layer. It helps you out. Now, in most instances, there is a machine called a projector that can help you out with that. It'll, it'll like, if you've ever played Batania, it'll do the ghost item thing that Batania does when you're, like, laying out the Alfheim portal. But unfortunately, that caused a crash with some other mod within this pack, and it was, it was irreconcilable. So the projector has been disabled. All those recipes you see for it on JEI are just the uh, individual... Like, normally what you do is you craft the projector with the book when it's set to the page of the thing that you want to project. And that creates one of these recipes for uh, instructions for making a crude blast furnace, instructions for making an improved blast furnace, metal press, and so on, right? But if you look... Oh... The base recipe is there, but I can't, it doesn't have a valid, I can't uh, pull up the recipe because it doesn't, it's uncraftable. I don't know why any I still list it. Okay, you're starting to, you're starting to give me some space here. That's good. How much can I fill you with? There we go. And this will just make us a nice collection of steel to go with our iron. And there we go. It's time to start melting some more lava. But yes, I will be hanging on to the engineering manual right yeah. And... Right, cobble. Unfortunately, this one isn't a luxury burner. Oh well. Really? Just a single pour was enough to fill you up? Nice! I guess I'm gonna need tons more lava in here. But, we've dipped our toes into immersive engineering. We've got ourselves a manual to RTF out of. And we have ourselves a collection of metal on the pour. Let's just start cleaning this out while it goes. Oof. So heavy. Maybe I should move that closer. Stack of iron mechanical components. That's a lovely feeling, isn't it? It's the first of many. I should upgrade that to a cheftier fellow. Let's do that. Oof. And a dupe. Dupe. A boop. A zoop. Because, yeah, we are going to need lots. We have entered the stage of we need lots. And we will continue to acquire lots more next time, I think. Because, yeah, yeah, I think we've made some solid progress. This has been a solid episode. And let me just fire off the pit burner one more time. As a reminder to myself that we need to be cycling this all the time. And maybe it's time to make this bigger, too. Luxury. But in the meantime, yep, that is enough for today. I will see you all next time.